this is Ronin. Hey, uh, welcome back to the channel and to this particular mini series where I play Door Kickers 2 while employing real life esque CQB tactics. Um, if you want to skip all the introductions, introductions uh, please skip and go into the execution phase or planning phase. But for now, uh, let's introduce you to the squad. We have Sid, because he needs to be in every single game, uh, and Mission uh, Ronin. Ronin and we have Safer who is a grenadier and we have Sephiros who is our uh, squad machine gunner. The reason why I brought them will come uh, will become obvious uh, as we go through the planning phase. The planning phase. Do, 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 do. Here we go. It's another uh, terrorist elimination mission but this time it's called the Viper's Nest and the reason is that they're highly trained it seems. Um, that's uh, what I'm seeing here. I think that's the suggestion. And we have to be very, very careful. Uh, so, but we can go as loud and as um, as dynamic as we want to be, or as careful as we want to be, but as lethal as we also kind of have to be, because there are no civilians in this particular mission, as far as I know. So, what we are dealing with is a big, big open area with deep angles that we need to be aware of, and that's why we have Safer with his um, grenade launcher. Um, and I am hoping to lob grenades here because it's a very precarious position and anything that is happening here I think I'm gonna also use my grenades um, my plan is to uh, take control of this by posting uh, uh, people from the assault team this is the assault team and this is the containment team um, I split them into, into a split stack I guess uh, with two fire um, fire teams uh, like kind of battle buddies um, so, uh, Cypher is gonna go, by the way, I drew this lines just to uh, give you an idea that I'm plan I'm not planning to cross this these lines because of angles, so I'm not planning to cross this line here, is because, uh, again, I'm completely exposed from this position, and if there's anyone there, it's also lethal, and I'm not gonna cross this line because if I do, I'll post it here, anyone coming from this door, I'm gonna be exposing my flank. So. This, these are very hard lines. Um, uh, my first thing is I'm gonna have Safer most likely posting here, pieing off as much as possible of this area, and then we have Sid posted here, I'm gonna pie off here and kind of contain this little door from any nasties that may be coming our way. I'm gonna use uh, grenades liberally in order to clear uh, those deep corners right here, here, and if I can here and maybe even here and then once this area is contained and I'm fairly certain that no one is going to be coming this way without us knowing and dealing with it we're gonna find work work uh, in this particular building by that time this door is probably gonna be closed or open but uh, notwithstanding I'm gonna move my assault team and stack up here gain entrance clear this little area and my first order of business is to clear this particular uh, room. The reason is that we have these windows that are just a nightmare because um, once this room is clear and I'm happy that no one is going to be giving us any nasty surprises I'm going to move my containment team uh, behind these covers and we're going to contain it from this uh, cover position so uh, they will be a little bit more safe from any um, lead flying their way. Once it's clear and we have our containment team I'm going to move and the assault team to get rid of this toilet uh, and then uh, we're gonna take control of this corridor but we're not gonna go up and we're not gonna deal with the room here we're gonna make sure that no one is coming through uh, and keep our position while the containment team I'm gonna move them and gonna go a little bit more dynamic with them we're gonna uh, post ourselves here making sure that we clear uh, these angles being very aware of these windows especially if they're open uh, by the explosions and then uh, pieing off uh, this angle here and potentially uh, 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 angling ourselves so we can see this door effectively making this room inoperable for uh, for our op4 uh, which will hopefully free our assault team to go through these doors and go to the toilet at the end this is my end goal so let's get cracking All right, so first we're gonna go and pie this very slowly and deliberately. In fact, we're gonna go with Sephiroth as well. 
and we're gonna go sit containing this door okay so far so good Cephras you're gonna go a little further okay we already have one and we're gonna s not we ask him not to fire how do we do that how do we do that nope there we go because you my friend are gonna go this way and we're gonna lob a grenade there we got rid of two people we're gonna retreat a little bit so there's no um, uh, friendly fire going on now we have two weapons trained in this particular corner it's only seven seconds and we managed to get rid of two of those insurgents here so let's let it breathe for a bit okay he has cover I'm not a big fan of that he can't see so I'm gonna move him this way actually no you are just gonna go and shoot him that way okay that was good because he was in cover and for some reason my guy was not uh, Sephiroth was not doing anything so it's a good thing I did that okay Sid did his job now we know that there's no one here because no one would would have survived that we're gonna use our underbarrel here just in case where is the fire coming from ah okay we have someone shooting from this position I think so that's another reason not crossing this line actually let's just throw a grenade here nope I'm just throwing grenades now this is not very tactical but I think it's very effective in this game right now okay goodbye okay that was it okay so cross coverage works uh, Sid has been doing a really good job this grenade that I thrown uh, was safer a real grenadier uh, kind of smoked uh, this insurgent out and he tried to escape which didn't work let's just let it breathe for a bit longer we're gonna do as much work as possible without crossing the threshold okay machine gun works okay okay five four five four three two one it's kind of funny at this point to be honest but we'll keep angling a little bit without crossing this threshold here this is already um, a little too much and we're gonna go with safer as well because I want him to lob another one of those babies nope we need to angle it better very deep here I wonder if it's even worth it but I just do it this way ah okay he missed but that's okay because this window is broken now so hopefully it will give us a little bit of an advantage here okay um, I'm gonna let it breathe for another three four seconds and then we're gonna go in into the compound okay let's go in uh, let's not expose ourselves too much we're gonna decrease those angles a little bit uh, we're gonna put Ronan into this position here and let's bounce so safer and uh, Sephiroth you are gonna be moving first because I'm only worried about anyone who's coming through here so let's go it's a bit of a risk but before you enter this way okay they're covering a lot of open ground uh, but uh, we've cleared enough of it so it was kind of an, educa an educated guess we're gonna angle it a bit better and this is good enough for me for now because I have to be very careful and then we're moving our assault team the assault team is now moving in uh, I am I need to make sure that this area is clear somebody <laughs> ran out of this toilet which actually makes our work much much easier so Sid you're gonna play this okay well good shooting Sid you got hit but that was okay okay 
Okay, covering. People are just responding to what's happening and I think they're dying for it. Three, two, one, okay. Now, this door is open, which is not uh, something I, I'm a big fan of, to be honest. So we're gonna have Ronin this way. Uh, Sid, you are gonna throw a grenade in there. No, that's just not working. It has to be Ronin, I think, because he has a better angle there. I wonder if we can just do this. And it will stun anyone who's in the yellow. In fact, I'm gonna throw a grenade and we're gonna go and see what we can see with our Sephiros once the grenade is done. Okay. Uh, Ronan, I know it's you who threw a grenade, but it's gonna be a one man clear for now. Okay, good timing, good timing. So we have Sid who uh, got rid of another guy here and Ronan cleared this room. Now this room is clear and I'm quite happy to move my guys uh, into actually looking deeply into this window. Let's just go this way and we're gonna pie it off like this. While Ronan and... Actually I'm very happy with Sid just sitting there and plating this angle. Okay, uh, this now angle is clear. I'm gonna bring our grenadier up a little bit to clear a bit more of these angles. Oh, yeah, we saw another guy, so we're expecting another guy to pop in here. Yep. So that's what I'm saying. Um, even though we haven't progressed too much into this building, uh, we have guys responding. This door is, I'm assuming, open, so um, knowing where the movement is happening is a very, very helpful thing. So let's go. Uh, Ronan, you are going to play this for now, and once this is happening, Sid, you're going to reload. Okay, back to the position. Sid, you're okay. Now, what do we do from here? Uh, I'm still, I still need to clear this toilet. So, uh, Ronan, you're going to go this way, angle it. Unfortunately, it's going to be. A oh no, we just throw a grenade there, and that would pretty much end, end this, this situation. Good. Oh, a little bit stunned himself, but it's okay. Okay, the toilet is clear. That's what I said about uh, being a bit more um, violent in our approach, is because we don't have to be uh, nice about it. Uh, because of our, um, because it's not a hostage situation. We're now completely in the open here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lob another grenade this way to make sure to clear this hard corner. Like, I'd rather be careful and use equipment that I have uh, rather than uh, not be uh, be too conservative and uh, end up dying. Uh, so we need to be very, very careful. This room is open. We need to be very, very, very aware of it. So uh, I'm going to have one guy, uh, I think Sid, covering this. And uh, Ronan will be uh, making sure to cover this. So he's going to look here and Sid, you're going to look here. Now, fairly secured, so let's move with safer. Okay, this is... Oh, come on! Oh, this is bad luck. He has a high caliber weapon. I should have just lobbed a grenade there. Oh, man, this is not good. Okay, well, uh, okay, I'm going to keep it in. I'm very unhappy with what happened there. Okay. Now my plan is a little bit screwed up, so we are gonna have to improvise. Because the window is open here. Yeah, there you go. It's the last guy as well. Ah, bad, bad timing. We should have been more um, aggressive in this. Two stars only, so let's see what happened. I'm gonna keep it in. So let's go. So far so good, the plan is going really well. So loving a grenade, that's exactly what I was going for. Being very deliberate, very careful. Yeah, just blowing it up as much as possible. Smoking another guy with a grenade as he running. Yep, yep, it was all going really well. 
and they just keep pouring in so uh, the the amount of insurgents we got is quite significant so uh, with only four operatives meaning that we've done a good job by not moving in too early and exposing ourselves to unnecessary danger the idea is i always like to do as much as as much work as possible outside of the threshold before committing my team so this is uh what i'm planning to do what i was doing here is bounding basically we have one fire team going in uh and then the second fire team and taking cover and um, they are securing uh, good angles and then we'll move with another tunes yeah so uh, this corridor is a nightmare but good positioning so we have Ronan uh, it was a I just grenaded because no one could have survived this just in case we needed to make sure it's good timing So yeah, this is where the mistake happened. Not here, but uh, a bit further up. Uh, because there is also cover here. Um, behind this. I should have just lobbed the grenade there. Oh, I was talking about using force, but I didn't use enough force. And that's what cost me. It was just, yep, grenade just cleared the toilet. We'll throw another grenade for this hard corner here. So we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, this was all done fairly fairly well and that's where the mistake happened there I should have just grenaded the guy yeah there you go so that's what happened it was bad and as soon as he left cover he got killed um, we got 15 insurgents uh, with uh, four operatives and one unit KIA which means it's uh, I mean it's one in 15 but it's pretty uh, pretty bummed about it I'm not gonna lie so I've learned something. I need it in aggressive and uh, where violence is okay. Use violence as much as possible to give your team as much advantage as possible. Uh, we've learned that today. But thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please share, like and subscribe. Um, if you want to see my other videos, uh, there is a link uh, that's going to be at the end of this video for this uh, little mini series if you would have done something differently which i'm assuming you would in this particular situation please uh, comment uh, below and i answer every comment i read everything uh, and it's a, a we can create a nice discussion on how to uh, use tactics in this particular game because it's a wonderful game thank you very much over and out